Hey, this is Rod from Ram City, and today I'm going to be showing you how to clone the data from your factory hard drive to a brand new solid state drive. I'm doing this procedure with this old Dell Vostro laptop, and it pretty much applies with any uh, Windows PC from Windows XP up to Windows 8. So the equipment that you'll need is obviously your laptop. You will also need a cloning cable of some description. So this is an Apricorn cable, which is uh, the one that I prefer to use. They come in USB 2 or USB 3 flavors. And you're also going to need your SSD. So we've got one here, which is a Crucial MX100, one of my favorite SSDs. So to get things started, you just need to plug the USB end of the cable into your spare USB port, and then the other end of the cable into the SATA port of your solid state drive. Once that's plugged in, you can use a variety of cloning software to begin the cloning process. Uh, I quite like EasyGig, which is made by uh, Apricorn and it works with their Apricorn cables. If you buy a Crucial cloning kit, you can also use the software that comes with the Crucial kit as well. Now, before we start off with the cloning, I like to download some software called CCleaner and run that over the machine first. And CCleaner is great because it gets rid of all of your uh, temporary files, log files, uh, checklist file fragments. It frees up a lot of space before you actually go through the cleaning process. And when you do that, it takes a lot less time to clone from one drive to another. So definitely recommended and the software is free. So I'm just going to install that from the Puriform website. And I've actually already got this installed, but I'll run through the installer anyway, just so you can see how simple it is. And running is very straightforward, so the defaults are fine. Um, just select Run Cleaner. And I only just ran this just a second ago. And if you have Chrome open, it will ask to close it. And I've got a few background Chrome apps, so I'll let it close those as well. And you can see I only just ran it maybe two minutes ago and already I've got 50 megs worth of temporary files in the internet case. So the last time I ran it, I cleared out about eight gigabytes worth of data and about 10,000 files. So you can expect similar results if you've never used this program before. And it's definitely worthwhile before you do the cleaning process. Now that we're done with CCleaner, I'm going to download some cloning software. And we've just started using Macrium Reflect, which produces really good results on uh, PC. So I'm just going to download the free edition of that. And all you need to do is just select download now. And the free version has all the features that we're going to be using today, which is mainly the imaging side of things. So we're going to use this to make a complete image of the existing uh, drive in the laptop to a new one. So we just download the Macrium downloader. And if we run that, Basically, in the options side of things, that I worked out the hard way, you can f save yourself a lot of space just by downloading the Reflect installer only, which is all we need for today. And then select download. And, and then that will take a while, so we'll just pause the video now. And now the download's finished, so we'll continue on with the installation. And then we're finished and I have to do a restart. So we'll be back for that and then we'll get on with the cleaning process. Now that we've rebooted, I'm just gonna have a quick look at the, uh, the disk configuration that I've already got on the system. So a quick way to get in the disk management is to type in diskmgmt.msc and that will show us what we've got. So because I've got a, a brand new SSD uh, it pops this message up to say it wants to initialize it and since we're going to be cloning the existing drive it's fine to do that and if we have a look I've got my existing 128 gigabyte drive and I'm going to be cloning that over to my 256 gigabyte uh, Crucial MX100 
So now we'll just close that down and we'll run make room reflect. And won't bother with the installation media. Just select clone this disk and then you can select a disk to clone to. Since that disk is blank, I'm just going to select that one. And it automatically um, extends the partition sizes for you as well when you're copying to a larger drive like I am, which is quite useful. And we just go next. And then we just select a finish. So that'll go off its merry way. I'll just pause this while it's running and we'll come back when it's done. That's the cloning procedure done. The next step is to install your new solid state drive into your computer. If you want to learn more about how to do that, have a look at this video. And thanks for watching.